Desde Chelsea estamos en la Feria de Arte Pulse. Vamos a descubrir juntos por qué la consideran una de las ferias más atractivas y accesibles de la ciudad. Vengan conmigo. Anissa is originally from uh, Hong Kong. She was born in Hong Kong, but she's living now in New York. And, uh, she, her work is about the situation in Hong Kong that uh, they, they are still not sure if they are um, Chinese or if they are British. So that, that you can see in the work that, that you have this, of course, these Chinese persons, but then you have always this, this, um, well, uh, this, this thing around the neck which also has this tradition of, of the of course, of the, of the British, British Empire and British, British things. Yeah. So she explores uh, ideas like identity, imperialism. Absolutely. Yeah, this is one of the, it's a brand new piece by Chuck Close. It's a very interesting piece because it's a departure in how he does his printmaking. Chuck actually made a palette of a thousand of his watercolor brush strokes. Oh, wow. And then with a computer program and Chuck together, we combine all of those water strokes together into a new image. So it's a, it's a brand new way of making a print. The artist is a British artist named Kim Rugg. Um, she typically works in paper, so this is a bit of a departure, but it shows her range. She also does needlepoint. The chair is simply a found object, an old chair that she probably found on the, on the street. Um, and the images are, are images she found on the front page of the newspaper in London. So obviously you have Gaddafi on the bottom and an image from, I believe, Pakistan on the back. Uh, and it's sort of to show uh, people's acceptance of violent imagery in the news. Um, here it is presented in needlepoint, typically a very passive, peaceful enterprise, something you do to pass the time. And also a chair, something you're going to put your most intimate parts of you down onto, and ignore the fact that you're you're sort of um, you're giving the back to the putting your back and, and other parts of you to these images that are, are not only a bit gruesome, um, but but also sort of happening in places that may not be very close to home. here you can see we've got this lovely old-fashioned wallpaper um, it's supposed to be like sort of a 19th century salon and what we're showing is work by Rob and Nick Carter they're a married couple they work together oh, wow. they never fight they always get on beautifully and they make really interesting work a lot of the time they're looking at old masters and how to make them contemporary this is a world first this is a digital painting so this Original paintings from 1630 by Ambrosius Boschart the Younger. So the flowers, this is his son, and they've brought it to life. So you can, well, really not to life, to death. The, the frog is dying and he's going through this phase of decomposition. So these are the maggots bursting out of him and all the juices. And it's a three hour loop. So he starts alive and then he slowly decomposes. <laughs> Bueno, espero que hayan disfrutado de esta feria tanto como lo hice yo. Si quieren conocer más sobre los detalles y otras piezas, los invito a que vean los otros eventos y videos relacionados con eh, Pulse. Y ahora creo que me merezco unas vacaciones de haber trabajado tanto y me voy a descansar con las chicas que están vacacionando.